Have you ever wondered how airplanes, those massive metal structures, effortlessly soar through the sky? It's a question that has captivated the minds of humans for centuries, and the answer lies in the marvel of aviation. From the earliest forms of flight, such as kites and hot air balloons, to the modern jetliners that crisscross our skies every day, aviation has been at the forefront of human innovation. It's not just about getting from point A to point B, but the sheer wonder of defying gravity and traversing vast distances in mere hours. It's about connecting cultures, fostering global understanding, and making the seemingly impossible possible. But what makes this all possible? How do these colossal machines, often weighing several hundred thousand pounds, take to the skies as if it were second nature? The secret lies in the intricate dance of four fundamental forces, lift, weight, thrust, and drag. Lift is the upward force that defies gravity, allowing an airplane to ascend. It's created by the air pressure difference above and below the wings. Weight, on the other hand, is the downward force exerted by gravity. It's what keeps the airplane grounded before takeoff and what it must overcome to ascend. Thrust is the forward force that propels an airplane through the air. It's generated by the engines, whether they be jet engines or propellers. Drag, conversely, is the backward force working against the airplane's forward motion. It's caused by air resistance and is a force that must be mitigated for efficient flight. These four forces are in constant interplay during a flight. When balanced correctly, they enable an airplane to lift off, cruise at altitude, and descend for landing safely. It's an intricate ballet of physics, engineering, and a little bit of magic. But how exactly do these forces work together to keep an airplane in the sky? Let's dive in. The first force we'll explore is lift, the force that propels an airplane upwards. Imagine holding your hand out of a car window as it's moving. If you tilt your hand upwards, you'll feel a force pushing against it. That's lift. Now let's take this principle and apply it to something a bit more complicated. An airplane. Airplanes are designed with special wings or airfoils to maximize lift. Picture the cross section of an airplane wing. It's curved along the top and flatter on the bottom. This shape is no accident. It's carefully designed to make the most of a fundamental principle of fluid dynamics, known as Bernoulli's principle. According to Bernoulli's principle, as the speed of a fluid increases, its pressure decreases. Now you might be thinking, but we're talking about air, not a fluid. Well, in the realm of physics, air is considered a fluid because it flows. So when an airplane is in motion, the air moves more rapidly over the curved top of the wing than it does underneath the flatter bottom. This faster moving air above creates lower pressure, and it's this pressure difference that generates lift. But it's not just about the shape. The angle at which the wing meets the oncoming air, called the angle of attack, also has a significant role in creating lift. The greater the angle of attack, the more lift is created, up to a point. But be careful, too high an angle of attack and the airplane can stall, losing lift altogether. So the magic of lift is a delicate balance between the shape of the wing, the angle of attack, and the speed of the airplane. It's a fascinating dance between physics and engineering, all aimed at keeping these magnificent machines aloft. Now that we've understood lift, Let's see how weight comes into play. Weight! The force of gravity pulling the airplane down seems like it would be an enemy to flight, doesn't it? But in reality, it's a crucial part of the balance that keeps an airplane in the sky. Weight works against lift, the force that propels an airplane upward. It's a delicate dance between these two forces that maintains the aircraft's stability during flight. If the weight is too much, it can overpower the lift. If it's too little, the airplane might not stay on course. An airplane's design plays a vital role in managing this balance. The weight is distributed strategically throughout the aircraft, from the nose to the tail, and from wingtip to wingtip. This distribution is adjusted based on various factors like the number of passengers, cargo, and fuel. The balance of weight is a constant game of adjustments, ensuring that the airplane remains stable and safely in flight. With lift and weight understood, let's move forward to the force that propels the airplane forward, thrust. Thrust! It's the force that propels an airplane forward, but how does it work? Let's start with the basics. Thrust is the force that moves the aircraft through the air. It's the push that gets you off the ground and keeps you soaring through the skies. It's the product of a fascinating interplay of physics and engineering. So how does an airplane engine work to create thrust? There are two main types of engines used in aircraft jet engines and propeller engines. They work on the same fundamental principle, Newton's third law of motion.
For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In a jet engine, air is sucked in at the front, compressed, mixed with fuel and ignited. The explosion forces the air out the back of the engine, causing the plane to move forward. This is the action. The reaction is the plane moving forward. Now let's talk about propellers. Propellers work in a similar way, but instead of expelling hot gas like a jet engine, they screw through the air, pulling the aircraft along. The spinning blades of the propeller push against the air. This is the action. The reaction is the air pushing back, moving the plane forward. But it's not all smooth sailing or should we say, flying. Thrust has to work against a mighty opponent drag. Drag is the resistance an aircraft faces as it moves through the air. It's like trying to run through water, the water pushes back against you, slowing you down. That's drag. Thrust needs to be greater than drag for an airplane to accelerate and maintain flight. So in essence, thrust is the force that pushes an airplane forward, overcoming the resistance of drag, enabling us to take to the skies and journey across continents. It's a vital cog in the complex machinery of flight, a testament to human ingenuity and our quest to conquer the skies. Finally, let's understand the last force in our list, drag. Drag, the force that resists an airplane's motion through the air, is the final piece of our puzzle. Picture drag as an invisible hand trying to hold the plane back as it moves through the sky. It's a force that designers of aircraft need to outsmart to achieve efficient flight. Now drag comes in two main forms. First, we have parasitic drag, which includes all the forces that work against the airplane as it moves forward. This could be anything from the friction of the air against the plane's surface to the turbulence caused by the plane's shape. The second type is induced drag, which is a bit trickier. It's created by the very thing that allows the airplane to fly, its wings. As the wings generate lift, they also create a vortex of air that resists forward motion. Designers use a variety of methods to minimize drag, such as streamlining the aircraft's shape and using lightweight materials. Now we've seen how these four forces, lift, weight, thrust and drag, work together to make flight possible. So, next time you see an airplane in the sky, you'll know exactly how it's flying. We've journeyed together through the marvel of flight, unraveling the mystery behind this incredible feat of engineering. We've discovered that it's not magic, but a delicate balance of forces that keeps these magnificent machines soaring. The magic of lift, created by air flowing faster over the top of the wing than the bottom, counteracts the airplane's weight, enabling it to rise into the sky. The power of thrust, generated by engines, propels the plane forward against the resistance of drag, which tries to pull it back. This intricate dance of forces, lift and weight, thrust and drag, creates the spectacle we see in the sky every day. It's the science of flight, a testament to the ingenuity of mankind. If you enjoyed this journey through the science of flight, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our channel for more fascinating insights.